Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Shikanya Krishnan, the outspoken presenter of Sister Wives, is losing her cool over her love for Cody Brown. Her fans have always felt that she has been far too forgiving to the 18-year-old father. In essence, she is not posing meaningful and challenging queries. Now that new viewers are attempting to comprehend the animosity aimed at her, it appears that a fresh can of worms has been opened. Continue reading for further information. Suki Krishnan loses miserably over her love for Cody Brown. It was a huge disappointment to hear that Shikanya Krishnan would be returning to present Sister Wife Season 18 Tell All. Supporters felt that she was too forgiving of Cody Brown and did not hold him responsible for any of his inappropriate actions toward his spouses or kids. They had no trouble expressing their emotions, but Shukanya only urged the audience to observe what transpired. She would then be willing to talk. Part 1 of the four-part tell-all seemed to have satisfied fans' appetites, as they are unwilling to extend her tenure. Someone has now launched a Reddit thread, asking what Sukanya's critics had to say about her. They witnessed the host be thrown to the ground due to her poor performance at the tell-all. They decided to check Twitter as a result. Indeed, the same contempt for the presenter exists on that site, where followers continue to argue that she gives Cody way too much. However, it appears that she is blaming the audience for that. Yes, Suki says, they all admit a lot, but we viewers are just not paying attention to her. After asserting that they admit a lot, Suki was accused of favoring Cody Brown. What were the reactions of other Redditors to this? Some likened her to Howie Mandel during his interview with Tom Sandoval of Vanderpump Rules. Supporters believed he shouldn't have done the sit-down as he had never watched the show. Moreover, Mandel consented to be lenient with Sandoval, which turned off a lot of people. Suki makes me think of Tom being interviewed by Howie Mandel after Scandoval. Exactly how I felt. The interviewer must be knowledgeable and engaged. I'm a big fan of VPR, and I agree that she can poke without hurting anyone. She'll return. Sukanya Krishnan informed her followers via Twitter that she would be returning or that she has performed her duties sufficiently to merit a second chance. After seeing this, fans thought, it should be evident that they want me back. Yes, the fact that you don't challenge Cody makes him like you. Cody naturally wants her to spill the beans. He completely ignores her. She doesn't demand anything from anyone. Suki's incorrect spelling of Robin Brown, the sole surviving wife of Cody Brown, was also brought to light. Viewers took that as evidence that she didn't know enough about the show and conduct reunions or tell-alls. Shukanya Krishnan's departure from Sister Wives is being demanded by fans who are furious with the season 18 tell-all host. They never wanted her back, so this is not a huge surprise. What measures are they taking, then, to prevent her from coming back? Continue reading for further information. Fans of Sister Wives are outraged and want Sukanya Krishnan to go. There could only be one conclusion to the news that the Sister Wives season was ending. The time had come for the reveal. However, it was hoped that Sukanya Krishnan would depart and be replaced with a more assertive host. Many said that she did not truly hold Cody Brown responsible for any of his bad behavior and that she led him to get away with much too much. It made sense that some fans would not even want to watch after learning that she had been asked back. They went to every forum to voice their disgust over Krishnan's return. The original poster on Reddit brought attention to Sukanya's ignorance of one of Cody's marriages. It was previously claimed that Sukanya gave off the impression that she had never seen the show before. The OP continued by saying this. She makes no effort to disguise the fact that she is not a TV viewer. We are so deserving of better than this. I think every tell all she has done has been so meaningless and hollow. Other Redditors concurred and even found potential successors. 
Right now, it's just insane. The interviewer for the ET interview with Christine and Janelle was someone I truly loved. She clearly has been along for the entire journey. At last, I discovered her name, Deirdre Bihar. Andy Cohen is essential to us. For a few years, they had NBC hosts, and I ADORD RET them, Andrea Canning and Tamron Hall. But things have gone so terrible that someone has begun a petition to permanently remove Shakinya Krishnan from the picture. The process took place via change.org, and the main goal was finding a new home for upcoming tell-alls. They started with 500 signatures and currently have about 300. All set for a shift. Supporters of Shakinya Krishnan were rather vocal in their reasons for wanting her removed in the petition. They felt that more tapes exposing his lies should be used to expose him. So Kenya was not the best choice for this, even though his feet ought to be kept close to the flames. Although it has been said that she is restricted by Sister Wives production and is only carrying out her duties, the audience is not amused by this claim. She wants everyone to watch every segment before deciding, but it appears like decisions have already been made. Every season, one of the most looked forward to events for the fans is Sister Wives Tell All. At that point, the hosts Sukanya Krishnan and the cast members have a one-on-one -on -one conversation during which they share their open thoughts and experiences. But throughout the last few seasons, things have changed quite a bit. Things amongst the family members have become severe ever since the family started to fall apart. However, Viewers would frequently gripe that the host would not pose the tough topic. This season, they also appeared be tired. As a result, they have been calling for Sukanya Krishnan to be replaced. Sister Wives, Sukanya can't get enough love, request a fresh presenter. At the tell all, Cody, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin will all be gathered in one location. Fans would be free to share their individual experiences even though they won't be able to witness them engage with one another. So Kenya Krishnan, the host, would take care of them. Viewers of Sister Wives have seen Cody's most conceited and selfish side throughout the last few seasons. However, throughout the last few seasons, the fan base has been grumbling nonstop that Cody gets off the hook. They anticipate that the host will always give him hell. They'd never seen her do that, though. The audience is terrified that the same thing will occur again. Thus, a large number of people use social media to voice their desire for Sukanya Krishnan to be replaced. Fans are confident Sukanya was prepared to be forgiving of the infamous polygamist after seeing the trailer for the upcoming Sister Wives Tell All. They want him to pay for his harsh treatment of Mary and Janelle after their departure in the upcoming season. However, this is the least likely moment for it to occur. Well-known host Shikanya Krishnan has a long list of accomplishments behind her name. She has won numerous awards, including an Emmy. However, she hasn't been able to make an impression on the audience when hosting the tell-all. Fans of Sister Wives have criticized the star for not asking the correct questions before. The well-known host, however, had been monitoring all of the criticism directed at her. So Kenya was compelled to reply to one of the tweets. A user said that Cody Brown tends to bully her because she is too sweet. However, according to Krishnan, she was still there and nobody had ran her off. So Kenya clarified that she wasn't being bullied by anyone and that more cast member stories should be shared with the tell-all. Thus, it's necessary to watch and listen. She stated as she wrapped up her tweet that it is meant to be a neutral perspective on multiple marriages. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.